They, the bar's been set so low for him, you know. So I don't like everything that he says, but listen, we know that he has nothing to run on. Um, he's running scared, and the only thing that he knows is to lash out and deflect and call her names because he has no policy. And he just weak against a black woman, honey. That's it. Black women, we, we, we rock. Obama couldn't have ever said anything remotely as ignorant as what Trump has said, you know what I'm saying? So I just feel like the standard has been dropped really low and it looks bad to even other countries. Like, we're supposed to be a high standard. We're supposed to have a high standard. It's disappointing. Um, but again, I will say Trump, I mean, Kamala's literally going against Trump who said she like is lying about her race, lying about working at McDonald's is the most recent thing. Like pretty much saying the things that she literally did was not true. So I will say, I don't think it's very like a fair playing field. However, I think ideally, in my ideal world, politicians would not resort to name calling. Typically when it comes to politics, right, there, there's a lot of mudslinging as you were saying earlier and uh, as far as the fascist comments go and things like that, I don't believe it's a fascist uh, approach that Trump is trying to do here. What I think it is is him just trying to take everything together and just be direct about it. There's, you know, he's not trying to beat around the bush and that's honestly kind of what I've been noticing, what I've been seeing from Kamala's side too, is she's done a, plenty of interviews and stuff, asking her about, you know, what her plans are, what, what her greatest accomplish, accomplishments are. And she's been dodging questions and things like that. So I honestly think it's really a scare tactic and it's really just kind of, you know, one of those things that they're just gonna try to push that agenda and put in people's heads. I think they're they're scared. I think they're scared because Trump is is going to come through this. You know, I mean, Kamala, she can't answer a question to save her life, you know, fully. And so I just think that they're they're scared and intimidated by Trump. For one thing, you know they're lying. They're desperate. They are so afraid that Trump is going to win, which he is and will, that they will put anything out there that they can. And meanwhile, all the things they're accusing him of, they have already done to him. So this is the pot calling the kettle black, if I have ever seen it. Yeah, I think it's when you're, the more desperate you get, the, the more, you know, you, crazy comments that you'll start making, just to hopefully that they land somewhere, but uh, it's, it's really, I don't know, I mean, you, I, I wish he didn't always say everything that he says, but that's true, you're never going to find the perfect uh, candidate to support, you know.